and we are rolling. Okay. Whoa. Here we go. The first podcast. Uh, the first one? The first one ever. Oh, wide camera over here. Here we go. <laughs> Like this? Yep. This is good? Come on. Dude, get it together, okay. dude. I can't be doing this all day. All right. Three, <laughs> two, one. Volume. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our brand new podcast, Bob and Bros. Yeah, buddy. Starring Bob and two brothers, me and Seth. Tentatively named because we don't know yet. We don't know oh, what we're going to call this. We don't know what <laughs> it's going to happen in this. We have many ideas. It's sort of a cluster and a buffet of uh, everything. I so think it's a good name. So we'll figure out. The, I think the name is good too. It rolls off the tongue. Bob and Bros. We're considering bro, Brothers and Bob. Dumb. Because, you know, we're brothers and he's Bob. Bob and Bros sounds better, I think. Bob and Bros also was in question because I don't know if I'll be able to sustain for every episode. So. Yeah. So it doesn't know if he can what? with the volume he's and the coming. intensity of <laughs> Seth and uh, Bob and I. And also, Bob and so, I are often just rambling about. Potentially, it could become the same Bob thing. and Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Bob, Bob and Nathan. You'll bro. be here, but we'll, just take, yeah. Yeah, we'll take you out because you're not saying much. Bob and Bro. <laughs> There you go. As I am a brother, you are a bro know, too. Bob and bro, straight broski. I'm Bob's bro. I don't, like the word, I don't like the word bro, so I I think brothers is fine because it but really it fits. Like Mario Brothers. So bros, I like, but I don't like Bob and bro. Out of all the three of us, you're the biggest very bro. Very cringy to me. I would say that language. you're the biggest. Bro. I'm the biggest bro, dude. <laughs> you are. <laughs> what? A, you are an actual by current standards of the word bro. That's you. I mean, <laughs> look at you. I a bro, dude. Someone else you would be like, hey, what's up now? They saw me. They would be like, hello, sir. Or, yeah, yeah. you know, and they saw Seth, they'd turn around. Not my fault. You're a ween whore, dude. So, that's, Bob that's the tentative is title. being given the award of the most colorful <sighs> dress today. Bob, I wonder. You guys are colorblind. I would like to ask. So if people, I'm in, like, muted gray and green. I'm wearing black. I would like the audience to uh, to tell us what they think. If you were to see us in the street, how would you categorize us or and or judge us? I think Seth would maybe be like, oh, it's a professor of a college maybe. A or professor! Something. Or, you know, because you sit like this. You always sit like this. You're very soft-spoken. You think before you Bob say everything. Would cross his, Bob would cross his legs, too, if he wasn't so tall. I, yeah, I can't do it. I think people on the street would see can. Bob and think, oh, it's like a WWE wrestler. He's a pro wrestler of some kind. It's because I'm That's, huge. The hair, the glasses, all the time, and I think they'd see me and think I'm a fireman because everyone thinks I'm a fireman. Nobody that's would think I'm a fireman. If anybody Here taught me, they think I'm not starting. With, I'm not starting with again. That's a topic we're, we're going to get into later. Also, uh, I do want to try really hard to not scream during. People the whole would podcast. think that I'm like, but we always a uh, hipster bum or something. I don't think they would think that I was a. Depending professor. on what you're wearing right now, you're pretty like hipster you're bum. Pretty tame in your outfit right now. This is why I always wear a flannel shirt. He wears shirt. mute. You both wear. Boring, I wear muted navy blue. colors I wear navy every blue single every time. All the time. All the he time. does wear navy blue a lot. This is like one weird day he's not wearing it. Are you colorblind too? Yeah, but not as much as Nathan, I think. Because you are. I'm the most really colorblind. That's what we could do a family. colorblind test. We should do a colorblind <laughs> test. I have a lot of cool. Hilarious. Tests. I have some fun stuff planned. I think we all have some fun things planned. This, by the way, let me tell the audience. Well, we don't. The, like, I don't have anything planned. Yeah, I, want, yeah. I just want to finish the end of the intro. But we so can talk about that, episode. too. <laughs> the important things I would <laughs> this like to... This is the mention. intro? Yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we're got, we're doing the, the intro right, right now. I thought that was done already. I no. We this okay. is the intro. First, two, last two things I want to say in the beginning of this is thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon. This podcast really is supported by Patreon. If you want to see more of this, if you want to see it weekly, it would be amazing if you could support on Patreon. So thank you to all those who do. Uh... Then I don't remember all the other thing I was Good thinking. job. I thought you were prepared. Something about the podcast. <laughs> you were going to say something about the name? Something about the intro the... or the beginning of this thing. I don't know. But yeah, thank you to those who support on Patreon. That's kind of the main thing. Um, but we do have some things planned and segments planned for this. And we're going to figure out as we go. And please, please, please suggest anything and everything. What is working? What isn't working? And we're going to hopefully together yeah. make this something that's Lots of suggestions. Week. Oh, weekly is what we're trying to do for this Oh, thing. we may have guests is what oh, I... Oh, and we will have guests. Yeah, we yeah. will eventually. Yeah. We have hopefully. A lot of, I have a lot of friends, particularly... You have friends? Do, ...that do podcasts. I thought I, the, your only friend was sitting in next to My you. only friends, honestly, are in this room right now. <laughs> that friend? I have other friends. Or this oh, friend. Oh, that's what Your God-given friend this and me. Something, <laughs> this is something I would like to talk about. This is a very important part of the show. 
This is the database. It fits the theme and the color. Database. This is the database that will be here for every episode of the show. I'm not sure what camera I'm on. It one. only took 40 it's minutes to set up. This is the database, and it will give us all the information we ever need. I we'll, don't we'll, think that's true. Oh, it's true. I we'll, need different information. The only information you need everything. is from me. This device is created, custom device. The database was made by Mike Lombardo, a friend of ours who's a scientific <laughs> genius. And Super nerd. This thing. Here it is. It's the database, and I will use it to search for all information we will ever need. And then we have wait. We get to fact check right you here. every time you say something absolutely yep. We're stupid. Not we got fact check. We're not you. Me? <laughs> You're always talking about. Crap. I'm a database of my own. I know, yeah, but we don't fact check. We don't want database. the Bob database. <laughs> what? It's genius. Oh my god. Okay, what are you talking some, about? I, what one is to turn on? I oh, why are we have. touching? Why the database are you touching is having stuff? a malfunction. Don't touch. Stuff. Oh, not now is what I. Who let the select. old guy touch the database? There we go. So it also, I will say. We don't oh. want we don't want to be like Joe Rogan and miss it, put out misinformation like when he thought I oh beat my up my God. son because I do not have a son. Joe Here Rogan, I'm sorry to tell Here you, we know. <laughs> not. I'm 43 today. Oh, that's the thing I want to say. say it's that. my birthday. I was just gonna. I've been happy birthday, Nate. 43 for an hour. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, this is great. Thank happy you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, so funny. Bob. So, Sounds like he's doing opera. <laughs> my rant is over, and now the your podcast rant, rant, can officially begin. My nose your rant is the intro. Seven minutes into the episode. Did you get enough out? I think you need to get a now little Now I'm not going to talk for the rest of the episode. Oh yeah. Right. Also, we will we will be switching to do some more preface and setup. I see on the screen Seth lied about his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are my notes for the show. This is the database. This is I don't blame me. The database I mean, that is wrote true. all of this. <laughs> you do lie about everything we talk about. But it's got that's another thing. The database wrote it. So don't blame me. <laughs> the data- I oh, used so to now lie. you're blaming on your I database knows all. I used to lie about my birthday, but I don't do it anymore. When's that, your birthday? I'll get into that. That's a good topic. <laughs> yeah, when, when's your birthday? It's funny that I do hesitate. Yeah, when's your, when's your because birthday? Because here's so used to a, a public lifetime public of lying. It's a pu- so could, I would tell you. When's your birthday? I would tell Mine's you. Mine's August 27th. Oh, do you not want to say it because it's, this is public? Just because it's yeah, yeah, public. Yeah, yeah. Let me Mine's explain. August I don't mind telling my friend. Twenty seven. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm. Your your birthday is in August? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Bob's? He's got... Yeah, I always I thought, no. Maybe I'm confused. Everybody's with birthday's Mike. in August. Mike's is in March, right? Yeah, yeah. I always confuse yours and Mike's. When's yours? We should have Mike come on an episode. February second. It's today. February. Oh, let me do the spiel. Oh, here we go. And then I'm done ranting. I also I really want to try not to scream. Anymore. If you guys have seen any of our old part, our other podcasts, you know we scream on lot and yell on top of each other all the time. And I'm trying <laughs> really hard not to do that. And it's pre- it's proving impossible. My birthday is today, which is February second. I was born at twelve twenty two in the afternoon. On the second day of the week, which is Monday, I was the second son, and my mom was in hospital room 222. So two is a very lucky number of mine. There, there you go. So all that just to say that two is your lucky number? Because of all the twos. That what I'm about 22? 22. 20, 22 particularly is what another lucky What about 222? Number. Yep, all twos. 2,222? Literally at all of them. 2,222.22? Number. Yep. I threw my back out this morning. Putting up decorations for Nathan, so you might see me fidgeting. <laughs> oh yeah, Seth. It is a tradition in our family where you decorate be- when the person's asleep before they get up, and you, they come out, and there's like balloons and streamers everywhere. And Chef had still did it. Forty three years later, I still have the decorations in the morning. They're mixed in with the Christmas decorations that are still yeah, up because Nathan refuses to take them down. Take the Christmas decor. I love Christmas just as much as you. Take them down. They're coming down today. They're coming down today. So your tree is down. Tree is pretty down much down. on fire. Yeah, I know no, the, the tree. Is, this is the topic. Yeah. This is like the topic for the episode. If you blow it, if you blow on that Christmas tree, it'll. Shh. Oh yeah, ain't no needles falling off this air tree. Oh, they all fall off. Yeah, they're Christmas all. They're all you can, you, you can vacuum that tree up currently. Topic for the episode: Christmas ends, in my opinion, on my birthday, which is February second. So I take down the decorations and all the things. So tonight is the last night. I why enjoy. do you think I have three why Christmas? Do do yeah, where did you even get that? Let me tell you. I have three Christmas trees in my room right now. I in enjoy sitting there looking at them all illuminated. There's one, there's two in the live, there's one in the living room, one in the Which kitchen. Which I will house. say, he always le- he goes out to do his editing not in his bedroom, and he leaves all those trees and lights and everything on. Frankie's enjoying that, burning the electricity. Frankie for hours. The dog is enjoying the lead light glow Frankie's of the holiday. Like lead lights don't cost a lot of money. Them. No, they're not. They're not that bright. I think a tree is LED. What? 
the new ones. I don't know. They're not LED. They're like regular Christmas I think bulbs. It's just like bulbs. Well, I mean, what's regular? I love Christmas trees. I love Christmas. I think Christmas starts September first, but really the decorations begin September first. That's disgusting. That's the day when, it, in my opinion, that's when <laughs> fall begins. Because that's like when it's ooh, it's getting cold. They are Christmas. Fall it's, doesn't like, begin until February twenty first. I think. I like fall. It. I think autumn is February 20th. Back Se- check. September. You're September. crazy. Back check. It's September. the end of September. September 21st. Oh, February. That's the dead of winter. Wait, are we talking about LA fall? Are we talking about real any fall? Any country, like, any place, any world, I'm any talking world, about- any universe. Christmas, September 1st. Then decorations I'm begin. About the celestial fall, like when the sun and all the season, like, oh, I think God. it's September. Oh, the, you're the, the equinox. equinox. Fall. The you're equinox. talking about fall for the aliens? No, like the equinox is like September 21st. What, the gym? You go to the gym? Yeah, Only fall begins fall? late September. I don't know what's going on. But can we start the first segment, please? This is it. We're going. What do you got? Okay, all right. You want to start the segment? I will. The t- regarding birthdays. Oh, also the one thing I did want to say in the beginning. Remember he said I he remember. Wasn't also the anymore? one thing he said that. Well, also the one anymore. other million thing I want to mention. The thing I did want to say in the beginning was the host will change every episode. So Bob will be here probably next week, or Seth will mix it. I'll never be over there. Yeah, hey, but you're still going to talk the most because you. I'm can't. trying so hard not to. I just have a lot of information to give the audiences before we get rolling. We've rolled. So we're still, so we're still in the intro. Another thing I want to say, yes, Seth does. No, this is not the intro. This is, this is pretty much gonna, it. It's now. not going to be Bob and Bros. This is going to be Nate by the Nate. end of this. Just Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate, and Nate. Seth did lie about his birthday his whole life. I yes. never even My friends and stuff. Cause I, cause When's I your felt, band? Because I true? felt uncomfortable about people giving me gifts and I didn't like the attention. I felt like, oh my God, they're going to say like, oh, surprise birthday party. That gave me anxiety. What about Christmas? Do you lie about Christmas? No, because like it's not about me. For everyone. It's not about Christmas you. is not about me. Yeah, about you me on Christmas. Gifts. You always get cool gifts for Christmas. Christmas? I don't want, no. I don't know about this year. It's different when the attention is all on What'd you. What'd you get for Christmas this year? You got a million great meals from Helen because she was here. I got. I got a bunch of great socks actually from my parents. This is one of those pairs. Oh, nice! They're okay. actually really comfortable socks. Nate, where'd you get them? I what I got, Seth? Yeah. What did I get you? Oh, I got him a book about Jim Jarmish. No, no, what's his? Yeah, name? you did. Was it Jim Jarmish? Yeah. Uh, something else. I can't remember what I got. Let me actually draw him. I got Helen will kill me if I don't say what she gave me. Seventeen pairs. Mm-hmm. Of like uh, my fun, parents buy like a six pack socks. and they wrap them. Each they wrap each pair individually, <laughs> so, that, so you have more to open. open. <laughs> I mean, that's just called you're old. That's the, and that's... No, that's the poor family way. That's what <laughs> it's always been. Yeah. I mean, that's get. perfect. Or that. The, what that's... the heck else did I get? Helen, that came out. My stocking was heaving. Like it was busting with stuff. Normally, I mean, that, yeah. When you get kind of when you get older, I feel like she the did that for Nathan too. Ooh. Who did she, it for me? Helen. Helen. What'd she do for me? She like stocked your stocking. You get candy and my stuff. stocking was so the heaviest I've ever Some seen. Some of Nathan's gifts were on the floor. And I thought it was going to break. Couldn't fit them all. <laughs> I thought it was going to rip the pot, the, the uh, stocking because she put so much. You got to get a bigger stocking next year. Our stockings are since we were baby. We've had them since we were babies. Oh, that's sick. Um, I got mine, but it's just at home with my. My mom's got. Oh, Helen got me some of my favorite um, banana chips, but they're not hard like the American ones. You know, the, why are they? Oh, soft? they're soft. They're soft. They're not freeze dried. They're, they're not freeze dried. They're just sun dried chip. banana chips. But imports? Yeah, they're from uh, Uganda, I think. But Ugandan banana chips. But she gets they get them in the UK, but then um, they're so good. And one time during the lockdown, because. Uh, we couldn't do anything. There were no stores open. So he I was ordered... in London with her during the lockdown. Yeah, I was in Oh, yeah, yeah. So I ordered a bag of those. They come in a bag about like, you know, regular size bag, like a gummy bear looking size bag. Yeah, I don't know. And so I ordered like four bags and then I, and then I ran out and then I saw there was a, a bigger bag. So I ordered it. It was five <laughs> kilograms. How much is that in pounds? That's like 10, nah, almost 11 pounds. Pounds. No, no, it's not that database. much. It's like three pounds. No, a kilogram kilos five it was it was 10. kilo is 2.2 pounds that's what it was it was 10 kilos 10 kilos would be t- over or 20 pounds kilos. what five I, kilos is how I big was it well it's like 12 the pounds was like this of banana chips yeah like this big by like that's this bigger thing. than a cereal bag and it was like this <laughs> yeah it was way... so it was big it was a ton wow. and i bought and it came so you bought like that's a like 70 dollar bag of banana chips it was like was it like mike's gummy bear bag like te- not that big, but it was big. It was like a, if you got like a, it was a full bag of like, you know, a, a family size of cereal. You know, like, yeah, like stuffed. A, yeah, like a cereal bag. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I got those and that lasted me for like 
Two months. Three, two months. I can't eat ten chips, pounds of banana anything. chips. Oh, but they are so good. They're soft oh, and like it's so different than any of the other because banana chips. You ordered the, the whole US factory worth of the banana You're chips. Like, oh, <laughs> but but I'll, I'll one. It was like it was like eleven pounds, God. like money. It was like you know that's cheap. Thirteen dollars. It's a penny. It a penny it per like, chip. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive. That's because it was bulk. That's a pound of. It was a awesome. dollar. It was a, awesome. a, a pound a pound. Yeah, but uh, for doing you know. British terms. I ate those for a long time. Wow. Oh. Okay. Do you, you hear the story about Mike? If I reference Mike often, audience, it's our friend Mike, who we grew up with in Milford, Massachusetts, who lives here in LA. He's another tall boy like Bob. He's, he, he's, he's not that tall. He's not as tall, Bob. Bob is six foot seven. I don't think I had the, the toughest and the close. strongest. Is that your intro? Right. It's the coolest and the toughest. The coolest and the toughest. Six foot seven, two hundred seventy pounds of pure unadulterated muscle. <laughs> who? This is you? Yeah. yeah. That's, oh. his, that's his intro. And <laughs> I thought you were talking about the, Mike. The world. It's just blowing, no. blowing my intro. Up, dude. <laughs> that's the coolest and the toughest. I do like that. <laughs> you look like a wrestler, so it's something you would say as a wrestler. Mike's what? Six foot four. Yeah, six four. He's another loud mouth guy. You can change Mike, the when we were yeah. Kids, when we were teenagers. We went to Mike's house, his room one time. We were playing. Like that. Did you just break them? Oh gosh, no, I thought like they broke. Adjustable. You can look over. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do that. I see him spy on people. <laughs> spy. Spy for, very spy sub- for, those are some Brett, the Hitman heart glasses. Yeah, yeah. Razor Ramon. Like, Did he have glasses like that? I don't remember. Team but Mike. Mike had a five-pound bag of gummy bears in his room when we were kids in like the nineties. Got like them from the video store, and he ate the whole bag of them. It took him a while. Yeah, I, a that's what kid, made, that's what your banana chips reminded when me. When you're of. a child, I, like eating that much is not yeah. A but we were deal. fifteen. You prop, yeah. yeah, you process Dude, it so fast. Oh, but Mike had that bag of gummy bears for months. He had it for a long time. He got it from that video, the video store we used yeah. to go to, and then I'd be like, "Oh, you still got that bag of gummy bears?" He's like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah," and he was always. Eaten from whenever I come over, I'd see if he had some. He always had some. So I thought it'd be funny to buy my <laughs> nephew that this year he did. I it. bought it this year. I bought the five pounds of gummy bears, and I asked my brother. I'm like, oh, did those ever show up? He's like, oh, I don't know. He's like, oh yeah, they did. I'm like, oh cool. He's like, yeah, they they ate them all. They're, they're, they they loved them. Off. I was like, I was like, they ate all the gummy bears. And he's like, he's like, yeah. He's like, you know, when you're excited or whatever, but again, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I know you're excited, but I couldn't believe they ate five. Pounds. Well, there's a bu- how many days? How fast? You have a bunch two of weeks. nephews, don't you? No, two weeks. Benedict ate them in two weeks. Oh, that's not that. That's Josh, five pounds in two weeks. It's Josh insane. said he had a couple handfuls, and some, of, and, and Lucia had some. But there Benedict many, ate most. You know how many gummy bears it's, that is? I gotta see a five pound bag again. You have? Oh wait, actually, is this about five pounds? Benedict, where are you going? Is this about the size? <laughs> Of the bag, maybe, maybe that, the bag. Don't write. You is gotta. This, no, I covered it all up. Is it something like this? Is you got phone like numbers pounds? and stuff on. Because those gummy bears Mike had. This is just like a code for shipping. Um, oh. Is it like this size or smaller? It's about probably that size. It does. That's it, what the gummy bears were. In. That's a lot of gummy bears to eat. I mean, it's five pounds. What's heavier, five pounds of feathers or five pounds of rocks? That's the dumbest question. No, because that's what that. you're just. That's it's what the, you're asking you know right saying, now. Size wise, but anyway, they ate the whole thing in two weeks. I couldn't believe it. That's it crazy. took Mike months to use the. Well, uh, I had a friend once that got uh, a giant pallet of Skittles. <laughs> yeah, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> Dude, an absolute. That was great. That was great. I gave this up to everyone. Nightmare. I have people that tell me that that was legendary. those were twenty five pound boxes, right? Wedding gift. They're thirty pounds. Thirty pound box each. Thirty pound square cubic square box cardboard boxes, and inside yeah. were like a bag of raw skittles. It was just a whole just loose. Yeah. Skittles. It was thirty pounds each. A whole pallet full of like it was like twenty thirty pound bag. Couldn't believe how many skittles we had. We had one. We filled we had, a tub with them. We had one when I used to live in Hollywood. We had one on the table, and that thing la- like we. Oh, I started no. punching it because it was. It just you, we couldn't eat it. They just didn't go away. It was horrible. Was, because you could do we a handful. So I brought those to like some of the, so many. I brought them to Maker Studios. I, brought, <laughs> I gave them as wedding gifts. Fox party. I brought them to the Fox party. I gave Everywhere. them to everybody. We were I gave them to someone to as a wedding, wedding gift. It was wrapped and they were like, it, they almost dropped it because they really didn't realize it was so heavy when they. I gave it. somebody a, a box of that for their birthday and they thought it was the coolest thing oh, ever. Yeah. And in my head, I was like, I just don't. It's a curse, honestly. Because like, you gave me like three or four boxes. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. in the beginning I thought it was the best thing ever. It's and then I was like, no, nightmare. this is just taking oh, up space. Funny, it's yeah. a burden. And I hate them so much. I will say be careful <laughs> eating gelatinous You're gonna get snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a long story that I won't tell now. It's for another episode. They're not gelatinous people anymore. People have also heard this places. 
I had a nightmare after eating about three to four bags of the small packs of the um, peach, ring. peach rings from 7-Eleven. I had an alien poop emergency situation. It was a very traumatic situation. I thought I was going to the hospital and I was going to die. Could not get this poop out because I ate so much, you know, glute. What is it? They weren't, gelatin. They weren't, gelatin. The, they weren't the vegan it ones, were they? Gummy snacks, no, don't eat gelatin. too much. Just remember the, like the, you the vegan Harry Bows or no, whatever? No, they weren't vegan. It was like 7-Eleven. Making everybody have diarrhea. I like wish right when they I came out, idea. like the vegan Harry Bows. I think they were vegan Harry Bows. I didn't know that. They came out and people were like crushing them and they were giving so <laughs> many. It was like wow. a huge thing online. They gave me diarrhea for like three days. It was hilarious. I, I would did prefer not. Probably diarrhea. Still, you could probably still look it up. This was horrible. I was Funny. butt naked, sweating, laying on the floor, like soaking on a bathroom, public bathroom floor, naked, butt naked, trying to get this thing out of my body. You were naked. It's a long on story. On a public it, bathroom I, yes, floor. It, I it was a, it was a one use bathroom. It was one person bathroom, and the people were knocking on the door for oh, hours. One use. Go person. in there. <laughs> you go to the bathroom. It explodes. It's, it's made out of paper. Come out <laughs> That's <laughs> not paper. It flushes itself down the drain, the toilet. All right. It's actually so, kind of a good idea. Actually, I just came up with it's no. a paper toilet. The toilet just flushes itself. Yeah, and the whole thing implodes. It just sucks goes down, down, the down a hole, and then you just plop another one on. Yeah, that's what make like, it out of like cardboard or yeah. thick paper. No, it's like that stuff that just to, disintegrates. To hold you up, like almost packing. But how would you so get to destroy the forest? How would you get it to instantly quicker. fall? That's another invention you could. That's, that's what I said. I just did. How do you put, make it turn disposable instantly after hope supporting your weight and then going away? Because once it gets wet, it's like crumb. Was that melts. actual English? I don't think. I don't know what I even said. Because it's that is a good idea. It's rigid when it's dry, but then you wet it. That's kind of a waste of paper. Unless it's recycled paper they're just made from old old uses other people's butts yeah, i don't know why this would be environmental paper. or anything i'm trying to think of what the benefit would be but nothing it's just to hair. not have a toilet wasting it's space a, in your home well it's just keep it clean it's like you don't have to have a filthy porcelain because yeah, toilets are pretty problem. dirty no matter how much no, you clean them porcelain, they'd have porcelain because it is easy to clean but they're still always dirty yeah i hate cleaning yeah. toilets now yeah, I like. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I think every. I don't think anybody goes. Yeah, I, I really I, enjoy cleaning toilets. I never liked it, but I never hated it. But now I'm sick of it. I clean oh. toilets for a living. Well, yeah. Day job, night job. No, I'm a filmmaker by day, custodian by night. Yeah, it's your, it's like you're a vigilante, <laughs> <laughs> out cleaning the toilets at night. <sighs> uh to get back on topic of who would you just, how would you describe each of us, Seth? I'd like the audience to tell us. Seth It's is driving me nuts that that computer author. looks like it's falling off the It's thing. not falling off. It's, it's like crooked. Very much on here. The database is safe. The database well, will tell me the... if it's in danger. Yeah, but it's like it slanted knows. and like I don't like looking at it. Oh, it's because this is a fun. We just stop. It's we fun, can't it's get. It's not on the center. The we, can, we, can do a, we could do a whole podcast about both your neuroses. The Nickelodeon Ottoman. And it'd be amazing. Also, I, It'd be six hour podcast. I'm curious you know, if like, the audience oh. likes the color scheme. I'm very interested in and hearing what you think about the visual aesthetic. Do, I what like color do you think the couch is? I know. It's orange and yellow. You it know because somebody database. told you? The or database it, designed this. What color no, does it look yeah. to you? Orange and yellow. It looks orange. I feel like you're lying. Yellow. It all looks like, <laughs> it all looks like a... Don't you have an orange it yellow? It all looks mustard. Color blindness? Mustard? Yes. Looks like kind of... I'm col I can't color, test yeah. the, the, what's the word? Differentiate Ooh. between different colors sometimes. But the the thing I was gonna say, because you were harassing me about the other day, I wasn't harassing was, you. Oh, you were uh, asking questions because people right. often think when I have a mustache, people I get it a lot. It's a very surprising to me how many people ask me if I'm a fireman. How did we get back to that? I didn't finish the story. Oh, God. Because there's a whole point into this thing. And then I was, telling my, I was like talking to my mom and dad on the phone. I was like, you know, it's crazy when people ask me if I'm a a fireman, and then I hung up the phone. I was in the gym parking lot, hung up, walked into the Doesn't gym. Doesn't happen every day. Not every day, but it happens He's multiple acting, times a week. Like, every, like, like multiple times a week. Yes, I'm not kidding you. No, it the coach is down. No, it doesn't. I promise. I swear in my life, I'm not exaggerating. I walked around with the mall with him for two hours yesterday. Not one person said anything about. Because no one's gonna talk. I I'm with you. No one walks up to him. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> I think you get recognized more as an actor than you get called a. Firefighter. It's been more firefighter lately than being known for what I do. Point being, he got, he he got, got recognized fire. one time as a firefighter. Someone asked. I'm him. Said, it's probably been over 15 times. I'm not exaggerating. Oh my god. I'm not exaggerating. You, his brain is always exaggerating. You're not out with his me. memory well, is so flawed. At the post office. It happened at Vaughn's in Burbank. It happened at the gym the other day after I talked to my mom on the phone. I was like, it's crazy when people say this to me. Okay, that's and then three I went times. into the gym. And literally, within four minutes from what I said to my mom, a guy comes up to me and he goes, hey, are you a fireman? 
I had to take my headphones off, and I go, "Oh no!" But I'm actually going to start the training. You and he goes, that. and then he goes, "I really feel, I always feel safer when there's a fireman around." I was like, "Oh well, maybe you'll feel That's safer." That's the only if story I... he told. So I think it's happened once. I think it's no, happened four or five times. He, he multiplied That's that by fifteen. That's the most recent. Times. I'm telling you, that was the most recent. Anyway, I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, but are you that telling me said, throughout your whole life you've been no? When I started having this mustache in the past year, whenever I have a mustache, people often ask me. I don't know why you don't believe this. It's because happened. it's weird that someone would be compelled to ask someone if they were a firefighter. Why is that so? Just they just and randomly time, walk up to you. I never asked someone. I never say. I, I never walk said, up. Oh, I thought he was a fireman. I never walk up to someone and say, "Are you a librarian?" And it's <laughs> been conveyed to me in different ways, but it's often asking, we do "Are a, you a fireman?" Yes, it registers at, uh, when I'm going when I'm getting food at checking out. People go, "Are you a fireman?" And in, uh, the point. Of I the, guess it, maybe people ask people if they're firefighters. I don't more know. Than they ask people other ask all the time. I'm not exactly. And it's when I'm wearing this shirt, and I understand it because well, it yeah, it's like a, a fire, fire shirt. It's not a fire shirt. It's That's a, not a. Fire you shirt. even fell for it. It's not. It's a. It's a landscaping T-shirt for a country club, but people think it's a fireman because oh, there's a logo here, right? wearing navy a blue. Fire your shirt your brain just goes, oh, fire logo. Navy I mean, blue. I can see and the that. Combination with the mustache outfit mistake. The point of this, if you want to stop harassing me. Is now that people are asking, we're just being so bombarded much, by you. Now that people are, you're just, we haven't even asking, got a word in the, whole not, the database. Says it's true. You have to believe it. I've now decided to actually become a fireman. So when people start keep asking me, I can finally say instead of saying no, no, I go yes, actually. And I actually, so I, I think you're not. Now. You're gonna do the and training. You're not gonna become a training. fireman. And to the point of what Bob was it's saying a different yesterday, thing. he said I'm. Stolen valor. <laughs> You're not going to become a firefighter. It's stupid. I'm doing. You might do the, the training. training, and then I anybody could do training. I will do the cow fire. Oh, so if I go do MMA fire. training, said, I'm a MMA fighter. Yes, if you're doing MMA, you're an MMA fighter. Not if he's just training. If you're training but, for boxing, you're a boxer. But no, fine. you're not. <laughs> oh, no, okay, you're fine. not. You're if, you're, if you're training for guitar, are you a guitar player? Yeah, but this exactly. But a firefighter is a, a pie, job. Are you a baker? Yes. A, a, a firefighter is a nah, job. There are volunteer firefighters. There's recreation. There's people who help out. Volunteer the firefighters is, say they're volunteer being fighters. An artist, they're, they're not firefighters. Fire, they're being not a firefighter. Artist, Nathan, is not an occupation. Like it is. Like, yes. To be a I'm firefighter not, is a job. It's, it's a, not a, a recreation. But if you play golf, are you a golfer? It's not this. This but is that's different. another. No that's difference. a recreation. Yes, there is a no, difference. No, because no, people get pay, paid for golfing. No, you're talking about professional golfer versus like that. You could be an artist and not be paid. I'm just for saying, it. word is a word. You yeah, be, you can be a golfer and not get. If paid someone's for like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, you I'm guys got to get ready for golfer, these. But I, you, terrible takes from Nate all say. the time. <laughs> they're coming. Oh, you they're could, coming. You could still be a better. Oh, if you kick, are you a kicker? Nate, no, no, you're crossing. You're crossing too many lines. You can't. You can't. Guys, you have to differentiate by exactly like. I am a golfer, but I don't do it as a job. I do my banker as a job. Here, I have, time. I have a Lego spacesuit. Therefore, I am an astronaut. No, <laughs> if you went to space, yes, you're an astronaut. You, that's different. No, you're not. If you are, just because you go to space doesn't mean you you're an astronaut. If you actively do something, you are that thing. Well, yeah, no, you could actually go to. Yeah, space but you're not going to actively put out fires, bro. I am. You're going to do just a training. I'm. You didn't this all comes. Training. This I'm all comes from Nathan saying fire, wildfire training, and then I will help. This is so out of context. Wildfire stuff, and if there's a fire, I'll show up and help. If I Nathan had made the comment, and that then he was when gonna... you say that, then you can say that you did fire. I've also fire put out fires in my life, so therefore everyone's a firefighter. Uh, this is the pedantic. This is that's this is that's obviously a reach. That's a reach. But I'm I. You can't deny if someone if a firefighter gets hired by the fire department and they've never put out a fire, they're waiting. They can be a firefighter. Hired. They can be a firefighter. Then I'm a firefighter because I'm getting hired by Cal Fire. You haven't done it yet. You haven't been hired. But if I once you I do, you haven't even started the training. Well, you can't say I'm not once I get hired. But my them. my point was, you were saying you were a firefighter simply by taking the course. Yeah. No, no, I didn't. I said I was. Yes, you no, did. I didn't. No, what I said the other day. Two I minutes. To you, I said if I do the training, well, no, I'll the other day training. I'll be in training. I'll do firefighter training, and if people ever ask me, I'll say I'm a, I'm in training. And then I'm I said, say, yeah, I'm a but that came if after I'm not trying to do stolen came, valor, like Bob said. That came after I. I pointed out that you were saying you were a firefighter from the training. Then you said, well, I'll say I'm a, I'm in, no, I took no, no, firefighter no, Because when I said to the guy in the gym today, I said, oh, I'm going to start training soon. I didn't just jump to, yep, because I signed up. 
I said, no, but this whole thing comes from you were saying, I'm going to be a firefighter after I take the course. And I said, <laughs> yeah. no, you're going to be trained in wildlife that's fire. That's you being pedantic. No, no I'm that's not. not. That's not pedantic. He is that's right. If I get like a certificate clear. and they say, you did it, you're now an official you're firefighter. You're certified. You no, wildlife. you're not a firefighter until you get the job. You have to get hired. If they give it, to, I will be. That is getting hired when you No, it's this. not. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It. I've talked. Yes, I No, talked it's to, not. Just because you have a certificate, you can do a million Thing, get a million certificates. Until no. you have that job, you're not that thing. You don't get the certificate unless you're going to do it. Yes, you can get the certificate no, and no, not do it. No, I looked into it. You don't even know what you're talking about. You told me anybody could take the course. Yes, but then you have to say wh- how many hours a week you want to do. And I'm going to do the three-day, <laughs> 72-hour thing. Well, yeah, okay, let's just- Our point was simply that you can't say you're a firefighter if you're not actively on a firefighting yes. squad yes. or whatever and it that, is. And then you're going to eat your words, and the episode will come, and everyone will go, well, Nathan did it. He's a firefighter. And you guys have to say, yes, All right. you're a firefighter. If how, you're how much you want to bet? Signed up to be, you want to put, put money on it? But the I vol- would love to. $22. Down. Since it's this February 2nd. And you're going to just do the volunteer thing, though. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the probably the 72 hour three day shifts. Now we have to get an actual you're, that you're gonna be an actually employed firefighter. Yes. We actually have to get a firefighter on the pod now, just so he can pile drive you into oblivion. <laughs> then I can stomp on you, and then I can use yeah, maybe the bat can... and smash you with it's him. It's almost like a matter of opinion. Not... This whole thing, but also it's, it's the not fire, opinion. If the it firefighter, is if we bring a firefighter on, he says, "Oh well, you're not qualified. You're not considered a firefighter unless you're." So we you're shut up for if the firefighter says you're not a fire firefighter. Whatever. Cal Fire and, and the fire department are different things. It's a it's the Cal Fire is not the fire department. They're the wildlife people. It's wildfires. Oh, wildfires. So you just what said does that matter. Th- so you won't that? be a firefighter. I will be fighting. I'll be a firefighter for Cal Fire. You're a wildfire fighter. You're a firefighter. There's a fire department opinion. and there's Cal Fire. There's two different fire departments technically. Yeah, there's more than two probably. Well, that's, that's, I think there's just like. The, the, the wildfires and then the this, it's urban municipal municipal fire municipal department fire. is towns and cities and buildings and stuff and saving people from buildings cal fire is out in the wildfires the deserts they're always burning up when we have the wildfires and a lot of people do that they, they people sign up for that or you can even volunteer i think for that yeah. you can't you have to do the training you yeah. can't volunteer i asked them there's no volunteers but just i think shifts. do they pay no because the cal fire is more dangerous no. Yeah, Calvary is more. What I'm doing is technically. Well, no, you can't. Yeah, anymore. but a lot you of like chop trees. Some of those. Down. Yeah, but a lot of times you're just digging trenches. You're just There's zero shot he's going to do it. I've no people have done it. You got to go way out in the boonies. You got to cut trees down. You got to build trenches. You got to. I'm looking stock. forward. To it. I am someone who loves and craves hard labor. I would like to do that stuff. That's why I'm doing it. The reason I'm doing it is I like to go through doing. <laughs> I mean, he does thing. like working hard. I don't know. <laughs> I do. You know that. I box every day, and it's a grueling thing. I like to challenge myself and push myself. Anyway, next well, topic. You have two minutes and 22 seconds of boxing. That's yeah, well, profession in the rounds because no one can hang that hang with me. It's not my fault. I go too hard. What's no. next on our I, schedule? I'm stressed out now. This I is, have this, Nate over this is not what the... You guys got to not argue. I'm the peaceful <laughs> one on this. We're not arguing. You're arguing with us. This is chill. This is going to be our very first final. Yes. Chill, I will like to say... Chill and calm. Yesterday podcast. when we were... Previewing, doing whatever. I don't know if I'm still in the shot. He like said he story. wasn't going to yell the whole time. He's like, I'm going to go in. I'm going to be very gonna chill. I'm the only reason yell. I'm yelling is because I'm defending myself against bullies. He also right. said, he also said, I'm not going to talk over you guys, which he just currently because he just, were, he's doing it right now. He won't let me talk. We're not bullying you, Nathan. We're I'm just trying bullies. to bullies. You're the. I was just trying to clarify. I like being called bully. a bully because then I can just bully you. Because so if you call me, you bully, bully. I'm an actual bully. When I first became friends with you, all you did was bully me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you made I like being called a bully so I can you made bully. Me cry That's in awful. Ninth grade. <laughs> <laughs> what? You made me cry in ninth grade. You made me cry. Did you or did you not deserve it? I did not deserve it. Oh, you probably. Did. I bet it didn't. I 100 percent did not. <laughs> I bet he did. It. <laughs> no, I said didn't. You said he did. Didn't. No, Bob be- bullied everybody in high school. That's fine. Uh, it was the 90s. The okay. next segment what are we I have talking about? is, well, we have the quiz. I'd like to do every episode do a quiz. You want, let's do the quiz. Should we do the quiz? Because yeah, yeah, we only have yeah, about yeah. 10 minutes left maybe for this episode. Um, so We got this long. In the studio. The oh, database, yeah, we only have five minutes. Oh, no. The we database. Got, five minutes. We started at 11.10. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I was thinking the other way around. All right. Let's do, do a quiz or something. I don't know right. if as you we'll age, quiz. your dyslexia topics. becomes strong, but I feel like I have increasing dyslexia. Yeah. Something I watched last night. Because not- we started at 11.10, I thought, we, oh, we have to stop at 11.50 because it's 10 of that, that hour. Well, You were never good at math, so I don't switched, even worry it's, about it. It's, it's not math. That's it's a just, common thing. It's like I switched the ends of everything around. 
you know, instead of thinking, oh, we start at 10 past, I just keep thinking we have to stop at 10 up. That's a common okay. thing. You think they put the 10 in the wrong spot. It's subtraction and addition, and you don't really. That's, that's not called a, ADD, know. bro. I think that's just like. I think it's just stupidity. <laughs> wow. That's all it what? is. Just common stupidity. He's saying that. No, in a genuine, <laughs> in a genuine way. It's just stupid. common stupidity. You're an idiot, bro. That's where you are. You had a, no. brief, <laughs> you had a brief lapse of stupidity. <laughs> oh. I was watching a video last brief night. Lapse right before years. going to bed, <laughs> Philip DeFranco, someone Seth might not know who he is, but he did a video on our podcasts failing now. This is at the end of podcasts, and I was thinking, great, we're about to start a new podcast tomorrow morning. Who is this guy? Podcast the guy not... that covers like stories on YouTube. And, I like, hate, like, stuff. that's just, but it everything's ended, failing. It ended with, because there was a little lull, because there was a big burst during the pandemic, but now it ended with, no, they're not dying, they're doing just Oh, fine. good, good. So, good thing that person shared. took the time to make that Yeah, useful, useful crappy episode. clickbait episode. Well, because they're just going Dude, everything's failing and... now. So, yeah, we're good. Apparently, oh, our, our, you were worried. According to Philip DeFranco, our podcast is going to be a great success. DeFranco. Seth was telling me that Mark DeManco, Mark, Mark DeManco. Mark, Def- Mark, Mark DeMarco. DeMarco. What's it? Mac DeMarco. I, could, I had dyslexia right there. Mac DeMarco is not, Philip, is not who I want to talk about. Mark Marin. Seth was saying, who does the podcast, so that <laughs> does not air. Will you speak? That's a brain, major brain fart going on. 43, what, are you, what can you say? Major issue. So you had nothing stupidity. to say about Mac DeMarco. You no, my flubbing. brain went to Mac DeMarco. Are we doing the I quiz? Mark Marin in a second. <laughs> Mark Marin, Seth said, does not, it doesn't air some of his episodes of his podcast. I've heard yeah, because some of them suck, probably. And I felt, So he doesn't want to put them out. It's because the guests he does not like vibing with or something. Or maybe, I don't know. It's my yeah, speculation. what's wrong with that? Like, yeah, but I was just like, thinking that guest must feel like, oh, mine didn't air. Great. He didn't like it. He probably gets some dingbat guests on that there. That so sad for that person. Some people suck. I'd know? be so pumped to be on the Mark Marin podcast. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Mine didn't go up. They would not put yours on. Because <laughs> you wouldn't let Mark Maron talk. <laughs> we're, too empath- <laughs> we're too empathetic <laughs> the whole time, dude. We're too empathetic to be business-minded. Like, we can't make those kind of decisions. We always think about the person's feelings, and we're like, yeah. oh, I feel so bad. Like, what if this and that? Uh, that's one of my things. I've, that's why I never succeed in business, because I can't base anything off of, like, a number. I'm just, like, thinking about how they'll feel. Yeah. Too empathetic. You're so nice, dude. Uh, <laughs> Should we do the quiz? I don't know. You asked us 17 times and then segued into something else dumb. So should we? Oh, do we want to do show and tell? Or we'll save it for next week? We'll save that for next pooping week. Pooping off train. I see pooping off train on the screen. We'll save that for next no, week. No, do the quiz. Is that We've that been talking about the quiz for 10 minutes now. Do the freaking quiz. Is that yellow or blue, Seth? Or yellow and white? It's highlighted. Where is pooping off train? <laughs> this is a Just model do of highlighting. the quiz. Stop looking at the database. Pooping off train was a story I think I want to tell later. That's something you did. Yeah, that's just um, a Oh, these are just story. stories. Okay, are you, so are, you, are you ready for the quiz? Yeah. Okay, first question of the quiz. Is this to both of us? Is there is there a topic for the quiz? I'll, Do we have a thing that can bang a buzz in? No. Um, Unprepared. True or false? We're doing true. Okay. First question. Is this for both of us? Yes. Okay. And then answer. I'll go Seth, then Bob. Okay. Or if you just want to blur it out, if it feels like you could. Then I know sure. all the answers is, to everything. Is so. Nathan in oh the fire God. department? <laughs> false. Oh, is true or, f- or that's not a true question, or false question. question. Is Nathan in the fire department? Nathan's that's a in- yes or no question. Okay, fine. Sorry. Nathan's in the fire department. True or false? False. False. Nathan's in the fart department. Correct. I am in the fart department. That's my company. That's Correct. Right. You're right. <laughs> Correct. You're right. Correct. You're right. I'm not in the fire department. False. Yet. Second question of the quiz. Uh, the circulatory system length. All laid out, if you're a human circulatory system for an adult. Just random question. The total it's length of the circulatory system knowledge. is one meter. Nope. 100 meters. Nope. Or 100,000 uh, meters. 100,000 meters. Un- meters? Yeah. And then the second one was meters. Like, meters? How, feet? how many meters is a foot? 3.3 feet. So that's like 300,000 feet. Yeah, it's like that. And what was the one. first, the second one? One meter, 100 meters, or 100,000 meters. If you laid out your whole circulatory system, I it's guess I have to say. A, one meter, 100 three, meters is 100, pretty long. I know, but. 100 meters only. That's 300 feet. It's over 300 feet. It's like a football field plus. Like, I'm going to say 300 feet just because. Yeah, what it. are you saying, Bob? Uh, the, th- the big one. Letter C. The big one. 100. Bob is correct. It's C. I kind of thought it was. 300,000 feet. I figured it oh. might be, but I just wasn't sure. So I, just I thought that was middle. crazy. That's crazy. Does that mine's, record- mine's probably 200,000. That's less. 200,000. Oh, 200,000. Yeah, meters. Yeah. You think you have more wires and cords inside? Yeah, you? double your size. You're well, tiny. You're bigger. 
Oh yeah, I guess the average human. You yeah. would have longer veins, I guess, <laughs> if they're longer. Oh, there that's we go. Crazy to think. That's yeah. funny. That's really far. How many that's miles? That's the same that? thing. If you took the intestines and you flattened them, like to like a you stretched them. No, you you kind of rolling pin them out. That that material. Mm. It would be the size of a rolling. soccer field. Yeah, I heard that. The that's a long. Body, so that's a pain. long poop. How much? How much? Yeah, but it's not just the length. It's like if you took that stuff and you kind of just smoothed yeah, it all you out, stretched it out because it's squishy, like, flattened it like a. That way you can get you. That yeah, way like, you can get big guys out of there. You know, like, it's so crazy how much stuff is in a human body, and then you think about the weight. It's like it should be heavier than what it is. Yeah. Like what do you weigh? One forty. One forty. I mean, when you only eat lentils, you get to be what you guys are. One eighty. You weigh what? Two hundred and. 90 something pounds. Whoa, 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 I whoa. Know. 70, I thought you said. 275. Coolest and the toughest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Six foot seven. How seven. many um, islands are in the Philippine Islands? Six? <laughs> Hell no. 7,641 or 197? C, 197. In the Philippine Islands. Sure. Yeah, it's got to be C. It can't be 7,000. The correct answer is B, 7,641 islands. Seven? Oh, because oh, there's, there's a bunch of little tiny ones that Isn't nothing's that on. insane? Yeah, they're just, there. it counts as an island, so. Yeah, I guess if you count it's every nearly, little mass. It's nearly 8,000, 7,700 basically. That's a lot. That's actually more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. We should go to all of them on the on Seven one podcast. Thousand. I think one of those islands is one of the ones Mr. Beast owns or something, because he, he owns that island. That's actually near Florida or something. D- does <laughs> does Jamaica or something. If like this piece of land was sticking out of the sea, would that count as an yes, island? Yes, that's what they asked. No, I think it has to be like at least like 20 feet or something. I think it has to be like you can inhabit it to have it be an you island. You can inhabit it? Otherwise, it's a sandbar or something. I bet a lot of them are uninhabitable. That would count as a sandbar. No plumbing and no... Yeah, it's probably like, you know. <laughs> so, what makes something inhabitable? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it needs plumbing. I can lay head to foot without falling into the water. <laughs> Just can, <laughs> can you poop on this piece of land? Okay, it's inhabitable. Yeah, yeah. It's an island. That's what qualifies. All right. All right. This is the quiz? Um, okay, here. Uh, is there enough gold in the core of the... Wait, what? Can you even read, bro? I wrote it weird. <laughs> Uh, Wait, I don't know how I word it. Can I, you even I, read? I, weird. Not what I wrote, that's for sure. I don't think you can read at all. Okay, I know the answer to this. Okay, yes, yes. You don't okay. know the question, though? Oh, okay. I can that's read. awesome to know answers, not questions. I thought I said coal. Um, <clears throat> is there enough gold, true or false, is there enough gold inside the earth to coat the planet in gold? Yes, 100%. cover the earth, like... Like if we melt it down and make like, like gold like plated earth, plate the entire like earth. a grill yeah, definitely. over the ocean. Oh yeah, over in my hundred, uh, hundred per million. Hundred. I know. Hundred. All those little pieces of nuggets. I know yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah. I know that really? most of the gold on the earth is. There's enough the gold in Glendale to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the, on the rings of people walking around. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you are correct. The answer is yes. What Glendale coat, or the center of the earth? You could coat the entire earth in a foot and a half thick of gold. A wow. foot and a half thick. Yeah. Most of the gold in the solar system is in the sun. There's gold in the sun in the center in the they core. Of it. Really? Think. No, no. Most of the gold on our planet is in the center of our planet. So not in the sun. But I do think that that the majority of the gold in oh. the solar system is in the sun. I didn't know there was gold in the sun. I thought it was just fire. Yeah, no, I think it's like black gold magma. sun. I feel oh, like I black it. gold sun. Black gold sun is what he's saying. Because it's gold in the sun. No. Hmm. No. All right. I love this quiz. I'm having a great time. You're is not it even, over? No, it's still how going. How you got? Let's oh, go. Oh, quizzes. I got quiz for every episode. I think this is, should just be yeah, a whole gotta, episode. I think we should just do it. quiz. We got to punch through fast. <laughs> we yeah. still got time Let's in this go. episode. Your transition okay. is trash. Let's move it along. Answer this. Answer this. What does spam stand for? Specialty ham, spice and ham, spe- or specially processed American meat. It's the first one, I think. I think it's a second I think it's specialty one. ham. Or specialty ham, spice and ham, specialty, specialty I've heard processed this American meat, I've, which would spell spam. I, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a C. I, I'll say, I've heard this before. I'll say uh, B. Gonna, Bob's saying B. Spicy ham. Spicy ham. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say A. I, I've heard this before. I'm a specialty ham. Remember, specialty ham. Yeah, which one is it? The correct answer is B. Spice and ham. Wow, I didn't like, remember. This is the guy that ah. looked like he eats spam too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel what like is that? 
I knew you like him. You look like an '80s wrestler. What? Who loves spam? After what, did his you just meal, call me after fat? fat? She called me fat. No, I ate spam. Fat. I ate spam. In the I was just saying you would be the one to eat something strange. I, I used to go to Stop and Shop in Franklin. You've I'm never had spam before. I'm telling you the story. I in Franklin, Massachusetts. I would skateboard around the plaza. I would go to Stop and Shop, get a can of spam, and eat it out of the can sitting on the curb. Uh, that's skateboard. the most Milford shit ever. It's super like, Milford. But I went to French. No mustard and nothing. Australian. I don't know. Oh wait, maybe I'm thinking. No, I Aussie made that. Yeah, la- I thought that was a good, um, good trick question, Vegemite. trick answer. Specialty Vegemite. processed American meat. I'm. I. I've only got one wrong is so Vegemite- far. Vegemite. No, that's Australian. That stuff is. Oh yeah, we should keep track foul. of who's gonna win the quiz. Yeah, me. I've already. Bob won. already got Bob's two winner. Right. I, I think already specialty got three right. processed American well, meat me, sounds well. legit. I only got yeah. I only got the stupid islands one wrong. Next question. I already got it right, so you can skip it probably. What is the length of the Mississippi River? Two thousand three hundred forty. No wait. Uh, oh, sorry. This I'm going to do this, the math. That's not, the, my head, that's not okay? the question. Hang on. I'm, let me, I'm, it's I, approximately. I'm reading these to not give it away. From LA to Massachusetts is pro- approximately 3,000 okay. miles. So just keep that in mind. Okay, here. This is the question. The Mississippi River is um, 2,340 miles. Sounds long. about right. It's, uh, it's the third largest watershed in the world. Yeah. How long would a drop of water take to travel? Um, the, the whole, whole length. length of the Mississippi River. Holy shit. I don't Do we have multiple what? choice answers? Or we just got to guess. Uh, let me see. I don't know how fast the river is moving. I have answers. I mean, it's got to be like on a, on a median or some short, right? Is it going on a boat? Because mm-hmm. I could put it on a stealth bomber, kid, and it would go real fast. <laughs> stealth <laughs> bomber. Oh, okay. Got- just guess. Just guess how long. I don't know. Well, it takes 40 I know the hours answer. to drive. I remember the answer. No, nah, so a drop of water there? from the top. It's two thousand three hundred and forty miles. It's almost twenty five hundred miles. Is, is it damn? One drop of water. How long does it take to no travel? No damn. Basically, throw a paper boat in there. How long is it going to take to get to the end? A week. Uh, a week. You say? I'll say forty eight days. Whoever's closest will get the correct. Sure, go ahead. It's thirty days. Bob's closest. Thirty days. Thirty days to get. The river is not moving fast. I guess not. Oh, there's like dams and all types of weird stuff. Yeah, but still. All right. But I mean, it's 2,000 miles. How fast do you want water to go? I know. It's probably moving. Yeah, but I figured if the water was Two moving, and a half to five miles. miles an hour. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe in some spots. Hour, right? How many times does 10 That's go into 2,400? Probably goes down hills faster, I guess. Maybe yeah. or something. But... but 10 miles an hour is fast for water. Yeah. It's probably walking speed most of the way. All right. Well, we better um, wrap this up because. All uh, right. Two more. Three more. Origi- um, <laughs> you can't tell him anything. <laughs> we ha- we're going to run out of time. No, we're not. We have an hour to do it. This is this is 50 minutes. I thought you wanted minutes. to do two. Yeah, but wait a second. Oh, wait. Two, two, scratch that. Not two, more. <laughs> not two more. Three more questions, you're saying. Original orange yeah. color is, what's the original color of an orange? Orange, white, or green? The original orange is the first ones to ever grow. Is the to prep. Green. Well, I mean, bef- yeah, probably. The, the, the what created definitely not. the fruit that was the original orange, and then it's turned into like different versions, tangerines and oranges and whatever. It might actually be white. What was it? White, green? Orange, white, or green? I think uh, probably all of them like carrots. Let's say green. <laughs> D, all of them. I the think above. I'm wrong. <laughs> you got to pick one. I'll take white. Okay. Seth is correct. It's green. I was going to, I wanted to say green because most. Fruit got out of green, anyways, and then the, the orange that we know now color. came later as a morphed version of yeah. mandarin, orange, something, and something. Oh, okay, that. last question, and then I have some interesting tidbits. So you can't get green oranges anymore? Do they taste the same? I don't know. You think you can? It's in East China, as something like that it said, is where the original ones came from. What about blood oranges? I moved. Them. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, no, don't worry. Don't Not worry. right yeah. now. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. What one letter doesn't appear in a United States state t- name? What one letter? Massachusetts, Arizona. What one Next. letter does not appear? Texas, moron. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and New Mexico. New Mexico. There's two X's, Texas and New Mexico. Z. T- ten. Nine. Wait, why? Eight. Seven. Six. Five, y or Z? Five, four, nope. three. New York? Two, one. Uh, it's Q. Bob is correct. Answer is Q. He wins because that answer, because you didn't answer fast enough. <laughs> I didn't know. First answer correctly. Last question. 
Uh, <laughs> How did you know? Because I'm schmuck. True or false? You guys are realizing I'm schmuck. How did you know that? Did you see the answer? So think about it. No, there's no answer Texas? There. I didn't put it up there. Think New about York? Texas. Think yeah, about I thought Texas. it was Texas. And then there's 49 more to go, and I couldn't get through them all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any state that has a Q in it. Yeah. Quin- Quincy. Quincy, Mass. <laughs> the Massachusetts town. Mike Mitchell. Uh, all right, last question. True or false? Cow bison hybrid is called beef alo. That's true. True. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. It's the real name of a cow in bison is a beef alo. Bob has won the quiz for episode one. I'm going to make a prediction that I'm going to win the quiz every week, unless I do the quizzes. And now to end, I'll rattle off some <laughs> interesting some interesting facts. I'd like to take more time for the Maybe we get the quiz earlier next week so we can like talk about it, because I like the, the subject matter. Of the quiz? Maria Gibbs. Two years. Wait, uh, what, what is this? What are we, we're just going into interesting facts? Yeah, I just wanted to tell you. Why don't you just make those these a, are like runner the quiz? Up, these are runner-up things I thought were interesting but weren't necessarily good for the quiz. <laughs> Dude, um, I wish they could see how badly you wrote. I wrote it like this. So Maria wanted, Gibbs, two I, years, I, I wrote it flight like attendant while on Jeffer. Yes. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? And I'll explain that. <laughs> I wrote these questions the stupidest thing I've ever in a weird way. So if you did glance, you wouldn't know what it meant. So you, It's oh, an interesting in fact, though. Because write it so you can read Some of them were questions. And then I moved some to the different category. I didn't want you to. You're in Maron. I, you're that was Maron smart of me. That's next level because I didn't want next you to be able to look. And then It's an interesting fact, though. It's not a quiz. It was originally a question. And I'd moved it to this category, so I kept it written the same. We're not. You told us not to look. We're not looking. Interesting fact. I didn't know if you would cheat. I don't know if you're a cheater. You got sunglasses on. Did you know McDonald's? I've been known bubble gum flavored broccoli. Did you know that? That's one of my interesting (laughs) facts. That's not true. It is true. I don't believe it. McDonald's made bubble gum uh, flavored broccoli, and kids said it was very strange, so they didn't release it. Bubble gum testing flavored broccoli. So, but it was was it bubble gum? It's just it was broccoli that they. Put bubblegum flavor like all over grapes they use and make them taste like gum. Yeah, I know those bubblegum grapes. They might. I mean, there's a lot of those things that they That's do. one of the interesting facts. Like Maria the green Gibbs, ketchup was so foul. This woman who was on the Jeffersons, it's the same so show, gross. our uncle-in-law, Paul Benedict, who was the goofy neighbor on that Jefferson show. This other woman, Maria Gibbs, was on the show for two years, and she worked as a, well, for the first two years, she also worked as a flight attendant just in case the show failed and she had to go back. She didn't want to quit show? Job. The Jeffersons. Oh, I thought it was crazy. She still worked as a flight attendant while she was on a huge TV Michael show. Michael J. Fox did that too when he was on that whatever show he was on. Not Silver Spoon. What was it called? Gro- Growing Pains? Growing no, Pains? Silver Spoons was the first one. No, no, no. He was on that other one. What's the show Michael J. Fox was on? Why he are you Family me? Ties. He You're the, the movie counter. guy? Yeah, he Family the Ties. Counter. You're the movie guy? And he... He kept his like old Honda Civic. Unless he's like, got tight action, for, like I don't the first know two seasons it. or something. They're like, "Oh, you're still driving that car?" He's like, "Yeah, just in case." Just in case. Mm-hmm. And so he didn't want to sell the car because he wasn't sure if it was going to work out. But like, that's cool. Yeah, now I he like drives that. a space shuttle. Space shuttle. Well, yeah, we can get to some more interesting facts next time. I don't want. Speaking of, I got plenty. McDonald's green ketchup or whatever you would just. Oh, what a, did you have the green ketchup? Um, maybe one time it in was my life. During, absolutely during, foul. It didn't taste like ketchup. But it was the weirdest, the during, grossest, like, goopiest. Leprechaun Day or whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's that? What is that? Holly, why can't St. I think of the holiday? St. Patrick's Day. I couldn't think of that. Leprechaun Day. I couldn't think of what it was well, called. I got, a, I got a pro tip for you for any vegetarians out there who have nostalgic longings for the McDonald's chicken nuggets. If you're ever in the UK, go to Burger King and they have vegan chicken nuggets and they taste and look exactly like if you're, uh, McDonald's if you're ever nuggets. traveling oh, abroad, really? and hmm. they're amazing, and they have oh, I've like, had them. I had them recently. They have like a dipping sauce that tastes like the sweet and sour or whatever it was. Sweet and sour. And oh. It's like the same texture, the same taste. It it feels like you're eating like a McDonald's chicken nugget, hundred percent. And you that's know, not just because I'm vegetarian for a long time. It's like I know they taste just. I like, believe you. Yeah. The ones that stink are in McDonald in England and but Europe. But these are really good. Oh like they're better God. than any okay. vegan chicken nuggets you've you had. I'm not, I'm not arguing. The ones from Boulogne are really good too. In my <laughs> saying old. You've had vegan chicken nuggets. But you've oh had my them. God! Perfect. I believe it. McDonald's. These are the best replicas. ones you've ever had. Just if you want the McDonald's thing. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I guess those were all, McDonald's those were the best. I like. I'm saying you can get that. And it was nostalgic for me. I was just like, oh my god. The McDonald's ones stink. In England, it's like this weird. Oh, they make McDonald's chicken said, nuggets. McDonald's makes nuggets that are just so bad. In like, they're vegan ones. I didn't know they made in nuggets. England and Europe. Are they corn? But then they have a they have a sandwich that's actually good. But then like there's two different types of patties you can get. One of them I had them recently with Ren oh, yeah, no, in England. It was horrible. 
I get it. But the, I've, I've had the, the uh, Burger King. Here's a real question. Do we have an outro? No. What do you mean no? Well, the only thing I'd like to say at the end is, if you do want to see more of this, please, if you can, a dollar, five dollars, whatever, uh, I need to up- Click and subscribe the, uh, and ring the bell. Cover the cost oh, of making this. Is that what they say? <laughs> we need to get more patrons, so if you do want to help out and you do like this and you want this to be recurring, otherwise we'll have to like go back to our jobs and kind of figure out other things. But well, I'm going back to my uh, job I'm anyway. I'm going back to my yeah, job in a couple stuff. hours. Yeah. But <laughs> this I'm, a fl- cool. I'm going to be a flight attendant. I've been on a plane, so I'm a flight attendant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been on a plane. I fly planes now. It's my birthday. I'm also-, me. I'm also... No, you're being stupid. And not. It's logic. If I'm doing firefighting, God, it's if bad I'm, logic. If I've been hired by the firefighter department. I am if a firefighter. If you were a firefighter, then yeah, you'd be a firefighter. Yes, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a firefighter. But if you take a firefighting course, you're not a firefighter. We already I'm made a twenty-two dollar bet, so I'm gonna. Once I get that certificate, I'll rub it in your faces. All right, thanks for coming, everybody. Bye. So yeah, bye. <laughs> you're watching. Please suggest anything and everything. This is all being yeah, figured comments. out. Comments. Go more comments. But we're shooting in a legit studio. We're spending the big bucks. We're making it happen. And if you can support, we'll love you forever. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next week. Bye.